Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how you can go live from your Facebook business page. And we're also gonna go over some of the strategies and the reasons that it's important that you give it a go and try and actually go out there and connect with your audience on a more face-to-face -face basis. Just a little bit about me. My name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital coach and tech enabler. And I'm here to help you to learn how to use the tools at your fingertips in order for you to get the visibility you and your business deserve. So if this is something that you're looking for help in, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you want notification of the next time I go live or upload another video. And also, if you do like this video, give me the thumbs up. And if you have any questions whatsoever about what I'm about to show you, please drop them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So let's have a quick look at why it's so important to go live. Well, number one, Facebook actually gives preference to live streams on their Facebook business page, and it will bump you above all the other posts related to that topic across Facebook. So it loves you to bring the audience to your Facebook business page. And the longer that you stay live and the more engagement that you get during your live, the more Facebook loves it. Now, if you compare live video to normal video, to photographs, to carousels, to all the other ways that you can actually engage with your audience on Facebook, Facebook still loves it when you go live. Now, I know that that can sound really daunting. Oh, I'm really like not really that experienced at going live. I don't really know what to do when I hit that go live button. What happens if somebody starts talking to me? What do I do? Do I stop what I'm saying and then do I answer them? What I tend to do is I go live and I tend to try and deliver what I want to deliver first. And then I have a space at the end of my live stream for questions and, and answers. This usually works quite well because usually at the beginning of the live stream, you're waiting for people to come onto the live stream. So you can tell people what it is that you're going to be talking about and who you are. Then you can ask people who have joined you to let you know in the comments where they've come from, where they're live streaming from, and whether they have any questions about the video that you're doing. And then you can go ahead and deliver what you want to deliver. And if you want to ask your audience questions whilst you go along, then by all means do that. And then just let them fill the comments in. But you, you carry on until you see those comments starting to come in. Then if somebody makes a really good point and you want to bring that point into your conversation, then you can go ahead and do that then. However, don't be daunted if nobody says anything because like going live on Facebook, there's a lot of live viewers who actually sort of ghost view you. So what they do is they might have you live on their mobile phone whilst they're doing something else. So they're actually listening to you, but they're not necessarily asking you questions or engaging with the live as it happens. And what usually happens is that they'll finish what they're doing and then they'll replay the live and that's when the questions come up. So always remember to keep trying to keep on track and remember that most of the views that come from your live videos happen after you've been live. It's just that what happens when you've been live is that Facebook will automatically give you a little bit more of a, uh, a boost because you went live in the first place. Once you're delivering your um, value, so you're telling them what you're doing, maybe you're doing a how to or maybe you're discussing a particular point or a service or you're going through a product that you own. You can finish doing that. And then what I like to do is then I ask if anyone has any questions. And then what I usually do is I have a couple of questions that I may have prepared earlier that I can sort of bring into the conversation. And that sometimes helps other people think about their questions. OK, so that's enough about why it's a good idea to go live. What you're here for is just for me to show you how to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my Facebook business page with you and I'm going to walk you through all the preparation steps that you need to do uh, before you actually click that go live button. And then when we go live, I'm going to go live whilst I'm here with you. When we go live, I'm going to show you what it looks like from the outside so that you can see what people are seeing. OK, so the first thing you want to do is to go to the business page where you want to go live. So this video is about going live from your Facebook business page, not from your profile. So you have to go to your Facebook business page in order to go live from your Facebook business page. And we're also only showing you how to go live on the desktop in this video. If you want to have a look at how to go live from your mobile phone, then I'll drop a link below this video um, so that you can go and have a little look at that video as well. OK, so here we are on my Facebook business page. And all you need to do is go down to the bit where it says create post. And here you have this option here where it says create a live. Now, when you click that, 
it actually opens up what's known as the live producer, which is Facebook's own sort of live camera suite. And this is where you'll have to do all your preparation. <clears throat> OK, so here we are now. I'll just briefly go over the dashboard for you so that you know what's happening. So first of all, over here, it says go live now. You can schedule your live video if you want to in the future. But, but what I'm going to do now is I'm really just going to talk about going live right now. OK, so going down here, just make sure that you're going to share to the page that you want to. So if you are managing somebody else's page, make sure that you've chosen the correct page. So share to a page you manage. So I've already got mine up as Anita Wong. So that's who I'm going to do. And as you can see here, that's the one that I've chosen. Now it's going to ask you to give a title to your video. Now, I always think it's good to put this title in before you go live, even if it says optional, because what you can do afterwards is you can go in and optimize your live stream after you've been live and alter the title if you feel that your live stream content has changed. So you pop your title in here. So, OK, and then when you've done your title, you can move down to the description. Now, obviously, in this little space, it doesn't look like you've got a lot of room, but you do have as much room to write the description of your live video as you would if you were doing a normal post. So go ahead and tell people what your live video is about. OK, now, before we move on to anything else under here, it says cross post to more pages. So if you are a manager of other pages, so maybe you're managing a couple of brand pages or you've got your own couple of pages, you can actually cross post this video to that other page at the same time. So maybe you're doing a collaboration with somebody or you're, you're interviewing somebody else and you they want you to share your live stream with them. You can actually go ahead and do that. So when you click on there, it's going to bring up some other pages that you manage. So then you can go ahead and share that live stream to there if you want to. Now, another thing is to share to pages group. So this is a really cool idea. So as a business owner, I have Facebook groups, which I run a community through. So I have one actually that's all around video marketing simplified. So I'm actually going to want to share this video, which is all around going live on Facebook into that uh, group at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and click that button. And then what happens is that if you just close it down, it's automatically going to share this live video from my page, but it's also going to appear in my group as well. So that means that you're going to reach two audiences at one time straight from within your Facebook business page. How cool is that? That's really, really exciting. Now, there's another one called audience settings. Now, this is if you want to make your video open to different age groups. Now, this is a new thing inside of Facebook, and it's obviously something that's coming in as we enter 2021. So this is something that you might want to be aware of. So obviously our minimum age is just generally to the public because this video is for everybody. But as you can see, you can have 15 plus, 18 plus, 21 plus, 25 plus. So depending on who your video is attracting. Now the minimum age on Facebook is officially 13. So generally most videos need to be suitable for age 13 and over. So I'm gonna keep this to public because I am aiming this video at the general public. Now, here it says allow selected locations. If you want to minimize the reach of your video to a localized area, then you could choose this. But I would suggest that in a, with my business hat on, that you leave that off because you don't want to restrict people from viewing your video, especially if you want to reach a, a different group of people who might be interested in your business, your services or your products. So we're just going to go ahead and not do that. But that is there if you wanted to. <clears throat> OK. Now, if you're a gamer, then you can obviously attach your gaming equipment to this. But now, before you get started, as you can see, we have some options in this main area. Now, it says here a new live tab on your pages. Use this URL so that viewers can find all of your pages live videos in one place. So if you were wanting to publicize this video just before you go live, you could copy that and perhaps pop it into a prepared email that you're sending to your list. And that could go into there so that they, when they get the email, they'll know exactly where to find your video. Now, another really important thing is choose how you want to start setting up your live video. So we want to be using the camera. Now, when you use the camera, as you can see, my picture has come on down the bottom here. Click on here, I can use the FaceTime HD camera, which is the one that's set inside of my computer. Now, there's a difference between this one and the one that I'm using to record this video, because the one I'm using to record this video is a webcam. So I could, if I wanted to, use both 
of the cameras. Now, you could use a paired encoder, but that's for more an advanced streamer. So the thing that you need to concentrate on at the moment as a newbie or as somebody who wants to step up their game on their Facebook Live and they want to start doing it from their laptop rather than their mobile, you, you just want to use your camera. OK, brilliant. Down here, there is a settings one for your stream. This is to do with when you're actually live streaming. So if you haven't got a very good Internet connection, then you might want to um, have a little look at these settings, because what it does is that Facebook itself will monitor how good your Internet connection is. And it's saying here, end live video if your stream stops. So this is not recommended for live videos with poor Internet connection, because what happens is that if you have this switched on, and say, for instance, my internet went down halfway through the live stream. I wouldn't come back to the same live video if this was switched on. It would just finish it for me. However, if you have it switched off, you'll be able to reconnect your live stream if the stream stops. So not recommended for live videos with poor internet connection. You will not be able to re reconnect an encoder during your live video. So you can decide whether you want to keep that on or off. And insert your live video on any website outside of your Facebook page. So, so this is a really cool tool for those of you who, who are able to go onto their websites and maybe add a little bit of code. What this enables you to do is to embed the live video into your website. So when you get the embedded code, it's going to bring a piece of code up that you pop into your website and then your live stream will be visible on your website as well. So that's quite a handy little thing to, to maybe look into once you've got used to doing your live streams. OK, and then underneath that here is the viewing. So this is allow viewers to rewind. So this means that it will let people who are watching your live stream go back and watch it whilst you're live. Um, I would just leave this as on. And then here it says turn on auto generated captions. So this is a really, really important thing to consider when you are going live on your Facebook business page. Do you want Facebook's own AI, which is this automatic intelligence, this auto intelligence bot to actually create captions as you speak. So when you're live, your video will have the captions there so that people who are watching your live who are hard of hearing can actually read. But also people who are watching your live who may not be able to put the volume up on their phone, will keep along with what your topic's about. So I think that that would be an important one to turn on. You also have this option to allow viewers to message you whilst you are actually live. So they'll directly message you in Messenger whilst you're live. I would suggest that that might put you off a little bit. If, however, you have a VA who might be able to manage your messages whilst you're live, then you might want to turn that on. Um, and then underneath that, you've got comments. Only your followers will be able to leave comments. So you want to leave this off because as a business owner, our Business pages are open to the general public and we want our live streams to go as far as possible and have as many comments on as possible um, so that you can attract and engage with followers that may not be following you. So new people to your network. You can have this on so that people can only comment every 10 seconds. So I would leave that off as well. It also says only comments over 100 characters will be shown. So this is to try and encourage your audience to write more. But I would just leave these off. Restricted means comment, commenters must have an account that are at least two weeks old. That might be quite good. So basically, that means that um, that's to try and stop people who might not be um, genuine Facebook users. So maybe people who are maybe trolls or people who like to spam. They, they create their accounts quite frequently because they get closed down quite a lot. So that might be one that might be quite good to have on. So only people who have had an account for longer than two weeks can actually comment on your live stream. So I'm actually going to turn that on. OK, so commenters have, must have followed you for at least 15 minutes. I'm going to leave that off because sometimes what happens whilst you are live is that people will follow you, which is what you want. You want people to follow your page. You want them to engage in your content. So you don't want to prevent them from, from commenting because you want them to interact with you. So we're going to leave that as it is. OK, so all these hidden features inside of here will help you to optimize your video before you actually go live. OK, we're going to ignore the stars bit at the bottom. That's for influencers who are able to charge for their comments. But we're not going to go into that today. OK, so just a quick setup. We're going to use our built in laptop camera. If you're using an external camera such as a webcam, then you can just flick that over to whichever one that you're using. 
If you, um, you're just gonna do a talking head video, then that's fine. Now, however, if you want to share your screen, you can only do one or the other. You can either have a talking head or you can share your screen. You can't do both using the Facebook's own live producer. If you want to do slightly more advanced live streams, then you would need to use a third party software, which such as Restream or um, StreamYard or Ecamm, any of those ones or even Zoom will allow you to live stream into your Facebook business page and share your screen. But for the moment, we're talking about live streaming directly from your Facebook business page, because this is the really good point to start getting used to being engaged and being live on your page. And it's super exciting that you're here learning how to do it. OK, so then all that's left is quick access to your live videos. Let viewers know where to find your live video. So show live on the tab and then copy the link for this live video. So URL will appear after your live video has been created. So once you're all done here, all that's left to do is to go live. Now, before we hit that go live button, I just want to run through some of the slightly more advanced features that you could use during your live stream. So up here at the top, there is this menu bar here. Now, I'm not going to go into the stream health because this is basically Facebook will monitor your stream health whilst you're going along. We don't want to worry about that. So you can use graphics if you're using a third party live tool such as um, Restream, StreamYard or Ecamm. However, you can run a poll if you wanted to. Now, what happens with the poll is that you can set a question and whilst you're live and also in the replay, people can actually answer that poll questions. And then what that what's going to happen is that now I have it here. Do you go live from your Facebook business page? And what will happen is that when I'm actually live, I will I will be able to see that I can actually activate that poll and actually let that poll work for me, which I will show you in a second. Here we have a question one. So this is like questions. I can ask a question um, of my viewers and it will come up on the screen. So what would you like to know? And if I click save, that's going to show that there. And when I'm actually record, when I'm actually live, I'll be able to pop that question up. OK, now, the other thing I wanted to tell you really, really super quickly is this featured link. So the featured link actually enables you to add a link to your live stream whilst you're live for people to click whilst you're live. This is a really good way if you have a specific call to action that you are talking about during your live stream. So I'm going to save that. And then all that's left to do is to actually press that go live button. So when I do that, what happens is I get a three second countdown. And then it will help me go live. So now I'm live on my Facebook business page. OK, so now what's happening is you can see that I'm live on my Facebook business page. And actually, I've got Antoinette joining me. She said hello down there. So what you want to do is you if you can, whilst you're doing your live is to give it a little like and actually physically say hello to the person who's joined you. As you can see, also along the bottom here, my, whatever I'm saying is being put into captions so that people who are watching the video can actually see, um, can actually read what I'm saying. Now, what I want to do now is I want to show you what happens. So when I click this button over here in the live producer, I click show. I want to show the link. When I go back to my actual video, you see here it says join my video marketing simplified Facebook group for more tips. And when you click on that link, it's going to open up another window and it's going to take you straight inside my Facebook video marketing simplified group. And obviously, as a new member to the group, you will be able to actually click on that and join. So back on my Facebook business page where the live is happening, as you can see, I'm live. You can see that I'm um, standing in front of my camera. And you can see that I've got somebody showing with me. You can also see how many people are joining me live at the top. You've got that little eye. Now, we also know that I shared this video to my group automatically. So this video is actually going into my group as well. However, down the bottom here, it also says that if I wanted to cross post this live to more pages, I could go ahead and do that. So it's reminding me that if I wanted to share this to a different page that I manage, I could also do that. So I'm not going to do that for now because we also prepared that earlier. However, if you are growing your groups and you might want to share this type of video to your group, you could click this share button here and I could share this button to my stories for business group because this is where 
they might want to go live on their page to promote their group. And this is a really good way of people going live in their Facebook business pages can actually share their group whilst they're live. So I'm going to actually share this here and it's going to share this automatically into my Facebook group as well. So I'm going to close that down. Now, what I've done now is let's go back to the live. As you can see, more people are joining me because the longer you're on the live, the more Facebook will share your live with people who are following your page and who don't know about your page. So they're putting your video in front of not only your followers, but also members of the public as well. OK, so now we've actually shown everybody how to find the link in our live. So what we've done on the live so far is we've also shared it to a group automatically and we've also shared it whilst we've been live. We've also shared that link. Now what I'm going to do is I want to publish my poll. So when I publish my poll, when I publish the poll during the live, what's going to happen is that when I publish it, the live people are going to be able to actually see the poll whilst they're live. And what, so as you can see, let me just put the mute on. I've actually just published a poll whilst I'm at, whilst I am live, live streaming to everybody on Facebook. So as you can see from the poll on the picture, do you do you go live from Facebook business page? So people are able to actually vote now. So they could actually vote on there by clicking yes or no. So if you click yes, it's actually going to go into the system and I'm going to learn from my audience whether they are going live on their Facebook business page or not. So that's a really cool item to have on there. So let's just go back to the producer. As you can see, it's showed me the results of that live poll. So whilst I'm actually live, I'm actually polling my audience whilst I'm live. So I'm actually getting some data from them while I'm live. What you do now to end the live stream is you go back into your producer area. So this is where we are now talking to people. As you can see before we end it, all the comments are coming in here now. So we can see that people are actually coming in. Now, remember we set at the beginning um, that we didn't want people who had only just made an account to be able to comment. So you'll be able to see what restrictions you put on your own live stream by looking here. And then all that's left to do is you go through and you go, OK, so what have I done? Have I shared my poll? Yes. Did I ask my question? Yes. Did I do a call to action? So did I actually share my featured link? Yes. So you've done all the things that you wanted to do on your live. Now all that's left to do is to click end video. So when you click live end video, it will say if you end this video now, you'll be able to choose if you want to save it or delete it. So we're going to click end. We've finished our video. It says your live video has ended. What would you like to do? View the post, trim your video, create a clip from your video or delete the video from your page. So what you want to do is you want to just view the post and you want to go to your Facebook business page and you want to have a little look at your video and make sure that it's running perfectly fine. And then what you can do is if you want to do this straight away, you can go ahead and edit your video. And if you want to learn how to edit your video, you can do that by clicking the link below this video. And I have another video there that shows you how to do that. OK, so I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to live stream from your Facebook business page. We went through how to actually go to your Facebook business page, click the go live button and then preset everything that you wanted to happen during your live, which included Number one, whether you wanted to share your live stream automatically to your Facebook group, which is a really good way of engaging on multiple audiences at the same time. We also set up a question. So we wanted to ask people a question whilst we were live and they were able to go ahead and see that question. We also set up a poll so that we could poll our audience about the, the topic that we wanted to ask them. And we also added a call to action link, which they were able to click whilst they were live during the show to go off and do something that you want them to do. So the features inside the live producer on your Facebook business page are absolutely awesome. And if you have only just started live streaming, then that's where you want to start from. So just a reminder, my name is Anita. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell if you want notification of the next time I go live. And if you have any questions whatsoever about this video and about live streaming on your Facebook business page, then please don't hesitate to pop them in the comments below. OK, so all that's left to do is to say have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.